Well, hey everyone, my name is Nathan Jones, and if you're new here, welcome. I like to talk about all things movies, specifically Blu-rays, and it's been a second. Uh, I have been really feeling different uh, for 2024 so far this year, and as the title suggests, um, this might be the last Blu-ray haul of the year for me. Um, and I'll get into that a little bit later, um, but first, I want to say I want to say thank you for everyone who has supported me um, going, you know, from the very beginning of this channel all the way to where we're at now. Um, this has been one of the best journeys of my life, and it still is. I, I'm not saying goodbye. <laughs> I'm not saying goodbye at all. I'm just dialing it down a little bit. Uh, you can probably already tell just based on my output that I have in the last few months that I've kind of just turned back a little bit on uh, in terms of video content, but also just watching movies. I have. I've been watching a lot of movies. In fact, I, I am excited to talk about more movies um, here kind of in my next couple of videos that I'll be putting out. But for the most part, I'm dialing back my collection. And that's exactly what the you know this, this video is all about, is talking about what my plans are for 2024. And that is, I'm only going to be buying 24 titles. So two a month. That's what I plan on doing. It's going to be a little challenge for myself uh, to not spend money. However, I have a new hobby uh, an old hobby, actually, of mine, this thing right here, Magic the Gathering, where it's kind of, I'm shifting a little bit towards that in terms of some of my, you know, uh, spending money. But at the end of the day, I also want to curb that a little bit as well. But for movies and for physical media, I want to only buy two titles a month. So with that being said, I have a Blu-ray haul to show you right now uh, of the titles that I actually pre-ordered from last year that finally arrived, and then also uh, the one box that I bought so far this year, which I actually plan on tackling. Uh, that's the other thing, too, is when I'm going to buy something, I'm going to try to tackle it within that month. So this is going to be my next project, and I'm going to be doing that, and I'm going to be talking about it uh, further in depth when I get into it. But let's actually talk about the last titles that I got from last year um, that finally arrived here. Uh, first is one that I'm actually watching right now. It's High Tension right here. In fact, I don't have it in this room because it's... You know, in the other room, I'm watching it, right? I'm in the middle of it. Um, wow. Uh, did not realize how insane this movie is. Um, I'm only halfway through it, so there's a lot of things going on in it. Uh, so far, like I said, I'm, I'm enjoying it, and I, I'm enjoying the transfer. I think Second Sight did a really great job on this so far, uh, and I'm looking, looking forward to diving into the features a little bit more. So, like I said, I'm in the middle of this right now, so uh, I'm not there just yet. Uh, next, I want to talk about a movie that I really wanted to watch um, from last year that has, you know, got an Oscar nomination. It's got uh, quite a bit of accolades, but also it's I've heard it's one of the best films of the year. And I'm talking about Past Lives. Uh, I have the uh, UK version right here um, so from Studio Canal, so it's still wrapped. You can probably see the sheen on that. But, um, yeah, I'm just excited to watch this movie, so I'm probably going to pop this in sometime soon because it is award season, and I definitely want to watch some of the movies that I've missed out from the year. And this last thing I want to mention before we jump into the box set I picked up for this year um, is a great film that I love, and I've only seen a couple times, but now having it on 4K, I've heard really great things about this, but I finally picked up Warriors on 4K. Uh, the Warriors uh, from Arrow, uh, this is a stacked release. <laughs> I can't even tell you how much things are in, involved in this, in this uh, release, but I'm very excited to dive back into this movie uh, I love this movie. Like I said, I've seen it a few times um, and I've enjoyed it ever since. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just excited to dive into more Arrow uh, releases that I have on my shelf already, right? So that gets me back to where I was talking about earlier, where I only want to get 24 titles for the month. Or, sorry, for the year. So that being said, I picked up my first release of 2024, right? My first thing that I bought from the physical media side of things. And I'm talking about Cushing's Curiosities right here from Severin Films. So this is a box set uh, featuring Peter Cushing. And it has a lot of the films that he's in um, right there. There are six films here. Uh, Tender Dracula, Bloodsuckers, Sherlock Holmes, uh, The Man Who Finally Died, Suspect, and Cone of Silence. Uh, I think one of them, I think the Sherlock Holmes is the TV series, uh, Six Surviving Episodes from the BBC series, yeah. Um, so there's a, a bunch of films in here, uh, and this is what actually what I'm going to be diving into, right? Uh, like I said, I'm going to be trying to dive into, um, you know, the titles that I pick up for the year, which is very few, and then also just focusing on different little things. And so that's what I'm going to be doing um, in the coming weeks is I'm going to be focusing on Cursing Curiosities, and I'm going to be doing a video on that. But uh, I also will probably pick something up as well. Um, you know, like I said, I'm going to be trying to do 24-ish um, but that being said, I, I really kind of, I'm curious, uh, for people, 
Uh, see the curious thing I just did there? But that leads to the question I want to ask you. Are you doing anything for the year to scale back a little bit in terms of what you are collecting, what you're watching, etc.? cetera? Um, I, I want to know in the comment section down below what you're doing uh, for 2024. Are you doubling up? Are you collecting more? Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, but, you know, there's just a lot of things going on uh, in the world right now. Uh, we have a, a stellar amount of releases coming out from amazing companies uh, that are putting out wonderful content. I'm not saying that I'm not going to be like, I need to support all these things and I want everyone else to support them as well. But at the end of the day, I, I got to think about uh, my love of this this medium, um, how I'm tackling these, these projects. Uh, I'm also just looking at my wallet a little bit closer and uh, trying to get a little bit better understanding of what my possessions are and what they mean to me. And so that's kind of what I'm going to be doing for 2024. Um, I know it's probably tried and true uh, since it's the beginning of the year, but uh, don't worry. There's going to be plenty of content coming up. Uh, I'm slowly getting back into YouTube uh, as we are doing more of these you know, challenges, things like this. Uh, I'm going to be talking about my complete collection for the year. I always like to do that every year annually. Um, and uh, yeah, just a, a few other things coming down the pipeline that I'm, I'm excited to share with you. So, uh, but anyway, I want to say thank you all so much for watching this video. I'm going to, I'm still around. I'm going to be back. Um, and uh, I'm going to be, you know, still continuing to watch movies and, and you know, talk that with, uh, with all of you. And I, I cannot wait. So thank you so much for watching. Give it a like, comment down below, share, hit the notification bell, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I'm not jonesing around.